Yo, what is up guys? It is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy back end today with another fantasy football video. Today's video is week four quarterback rankings. Now the running back, wide receiver, and tight end rankings are already up on my channel. After this video, you can go check that out. But before we get into the video, I'd like to give you guys a word from my sponsor, OverlayDFS. Dot com. They are great. I love the website. It's super fun to play on, and I plan on playing on it all year long. Wapow! Are you tired of having to pick the perfect player at every single position in order to win on salary cap DFS? Are you tired of having your salary cap lined up out of the running to win that glorious money in the first five minutes of Sunday? Does playing salary cap DFS feel like a job and not even a fun game? Want a fantasy game where pros with 150 lineups and computer-generated programs can't dominate? OverlayDFS.com Com has a new revolutionary start sit game for fantasy sports. They are home of the single entry GPP. Now you might ask me, Nick, how do you play this game? It is very simple. It's a simple start sit format. Make 12 start sit decisions from the 30 plus matchups presented to you on your screen like you may see on my screen right now. A win, loss, or tie will be awarded to your overall record for each decision. Records in the top 10% of users win nine times your buy-in. You heard that correct. Nine times your buy-in. 12-0 records win GTD progressive bonus. All matchups are player versus player. Who will have more total fantasy points? Typically, 8-4 and four record is good enough to get that cash. Sometimes it's 7-5. and five, Other times it's 9-3, and three, depending on the given week. Now you're going to be making 12 picks in the matchup options listed. For example, the NFL Week 4 matchups include Lamar Jackson versus Dak Prescott, Robert Woods versus Brandon Cooks, and many, many more. The object is to stay consistent and finish in the top 10% of the field to win nine times your buy-in until the stars align and you go that beautiful 12-0. Right now, if you go the perfect 12-0 in the $109 game, you'll win the progressive bonus of over 26 thousand dollars they have buy-ins of all levels if no one hits that perfect 12 and 0 record the progressive bonus keeps on growing and rolling over until it gets hit it's like the super contest but for dfs don't get shut out visit www.overlaydfs.com today and we're bike we're bike we're bike we're bike week four quarterback rankings let's get right into it now ranks one through twelve the beginning is very easy to rank. Number one, Pat Mahomes going up against Detroit. The Detroit defense doesn't look all that good. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL. Pretty easy, at least in fantasy purposes. In my opinion, he's the best in the NFL right now. Number one, Pat Mahomes against Detroit should be pretty clear to you. He's a must-start every single week. You drafted him highly. He's going to be the number one guy this week. Number two, we have Mr. Lamar Jackson going up against the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns defense is not all as good as people Brought it up to be at the beginning of the season. Lamar Jackson should be able to easily piece his way through the Cleveland Browns defense. Roll out of the pocket. Run. Pass. That's just his game. Lamar Jackson is going to eat this weekend at number two. Lamar Jackson. Number three, we have Deshaun Watson of the Houston Texans going up against the Carolina Panthers. Now, the Carolina Panthers defense hasn't been all that great. I think that Deshaun Watson should be able to have a pretty good game. Last week, it looked like Deshaun Watson was playing like shit, and then he magically pulled it out of his ass and scored like 30 or 35 fantasy points. He played amazing last week. I think this week could be similar against Carolina. Number four is Phillip Rivers. Now, he's never been this high, but he is playing against the easiest defense in the NFL, and that is my Miami Dolphins. Their defense is so trash. Not ranking a quarterback playing against Miami in the top five is just stupid. Phillip Rivers is going to have an amazing game this week at Miami. Number five, we have Dicky Dak Prescott going against the New Orleans Saints. It seems like Dak Prescott is an every week top five guy. He's running, he's throwing, he's doing it all. We know in fantasy football, running quarterbacks are better. That's why Lamar Jackson is up so high. Deshaun Watson, Pat Mahomes uses his legs. Dak Prescott uses his legs. Four out of the top five guys run with the ball. Dak Prescott is going to be great this week up against the New Orleans Saints. Their defense is not all that good either, and I think that Dak Prescott should be able to have a good day in a matchup that I can see being pretty high scoring. Number six, we have Russell Wilson of the Seattle Seahawks going up against the Arizona Cardinals. Now, Russell Wilson has been playing phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. He was a steal in the draft if you were high on him and you drafted him late in drafts. Going up against the Arizona Cardinals this week, that is a very soft defense. Should be easy for Russell Wilson, Chris Carson, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf to carve them 
up like it's a Thanksgiving turkey. Number seven, we have Jared Goff going against the Buccaneers. Now, Jared Goff has not played all that amazing, but I do have him ranked at seven because I think that he is pretty safe against Tampa Bay. Some of these other guys behind him, a bit more risque. At number eight, we have Kyler Murray going against the Seattle Seahawks. Now, Kyler Murray's looked just A-OK the past couple of weeks. He hasn't really been using his legs all that much. I think once Kyler starts running a lot more, picking up those games where he's getting 80, 90, 100 rush yards potentially, like something that Lamar Jackson can do, you're going to be seeing humongous fantasy games from Kyler Murray. Seattle's defense seems to be not that great against the run. It seems like Kyler Murray may be able to go out of the pocket, run the ball a bit, throw the ball a bit, maybe get two touchdowns, have a pretty solid day against Seattle. Number nine, we have Danny Dimes going up against the Washington Redskins. Now, I get a lot of questions about Daniel Jones versus Jared Goff, Daniel Jones versus Russell Wilson, stuff like that. Daniel Jones is the most risky option out of any of those guys, but in my head, I may start him over him. Now, I can see potential for Daniel Jones to finish as a top five quarterback this week, but he's ranked at number nine because of his risk. We saw him throw two touchdowns last week, run two in, but what we didn't, but now the Washington Redskins have seen that tape. They know what he is capable of. Not many people knew Daniel Jones could actually run the way he did. And I think that Daniel Jones against Washington is a very easy matchup for him. But the matchup is so sweet that it may just be bait and he may end up fucking us all over. But right now, I think Daniel Jones is in for a pretty good game against the Redskins. Number 10, we have Matty Ice, Matt Ryan going against the Tennessee Titans. Now, Matt Ryan has not had all that great of a fantasy football season. I thought he was going to potentially be that number one quarterback in fantasy football, and he has yet to be that. He's been throwing picks and looking... Just looking not like the old Matt Ryan, but as the season has progressed, he has gotten better. And I think against the Titans this week, it's a pretty good matchup. The Titans defense allowed two touchdowns to Gardner Minshew last week, maybe even three. I believe it was two or three. Gardner Minshew was playing well. Matt Ryan is going to play well against the Tennessee Titans. At number 11, we have Tom Brady going against the Buffalo Bills. Now, this is not the ideal matchup for Mr. Tom Brady, the GOAT. I think that Tom Brady may struggle a bit in this matchup, but Bill Belichick is a smart motherfucker, and they're going to be able to throw the ball all over a pretty good Buffalo Bills defense. Number 12, we have Matt Stafford. Matthew Snapback going up against the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, like I said for Patrick Mahomes, I believe this is going to be a shootout in Detroit, a very high-scoring game, a lot of passing going on in this game, and that's why Matt Stafford is ranked number 12 at the quarterback position, one of my favorite streams at the quarterback position for this given week. Now we're at 13 through 20. At number 13, we have another one of my favorite streams, Jacoby Brissett of the Indianapolis Colts going up against the Oakland Raiders. The Oakland Raiders defense has been putrid, terrible, garbage. Those are all words that are interchangeable for how bad John Gruden's defense has been this year. Jacoby Brissett should be able to run through there and pass all over them. Jacoby Brissett, also one of those guys that can use his legs, and we know how helpful that is in fantasy. Against the Raiders defense, that isn't all that good. I think Jacoby Brissett can flourish. Now, you do have to temper your expectations if T.Y. Hilton is out. To me, it seems like he is not going to play, so you do have to worry about that. But I think Jacoby Brissett, Paris Campbell, Marlon Mack can still get it done. Number 14, we have famous Jameis, the W Eater, going up against the L.A. Rams. Now, a lot of these guys are in very tough matchups back here, and that's why they are ranked so low. Famous Jameis going up against the Rams defense. That is very, very good. Top 5 by DVOA. I think that they should have a pretty good game against Jameis. They'll probably sack him a bunch. Maybe they'll throw a pick or two. But I think Jameis Winston has gotten the hang of it and is playing a lot better as a quarterback. And I, that's why he's ranked number 14, even going up against a tougher Rams defense. Number 15 is my main man, my boy, Josh Allen. Joshy Dimes. Joshy Touchdowns. Josh Allen going up against the New England Patriots, may, facing his hardest match up yet, and that's why he's ranked so low. The New England defense seems to be able to stop anyone and everyone. Now, they haven't been playing against the best talent thus far. Josh Allen may be the best quarterback that they have faced thus far, probably is, but Josh Allen may not be able to get it done against New England. Their defense looks phenomenal, and I am worried about Josh Allen. That's why he's ranked number 15, but he may end up being able to crack that top 12 if he can get it done with his legs and run or throw a touchdown or two. At number 16, we have Baker Mayfield going against the Baltimore Ravens. Now, Baker Mayfield has not been feeling dangerous. He's been feeling down in the dumps. He needs 
some Advil or something. Who knows? But Baker Mayfield has not been playing all that well. He is ranked pretty low going up against a Baltimore defense that, in my opinion, is pretty overrated. But at the same time, they are good. Baker Mayfield has not been making the best decisions in the past couple of games, and I am worried about that. The coaching is terrible. They're throwing the ball on f fucking third and one, fourth and one. You need to run the ball. Don't make the mistake Pete Carroll made run the ball on the one-yard line. Baker Mayfield and the coaching needs to get better, but I think Baker Mayfield will have a bounce back uh, it's coming soon in the season. I don't think you should be dropping him. A lot of people are talking about, should I drop the bake show? Should I drop the dangerous one? No, you don't drop him yet. You drafted him highly. You hold him. He should be able to figure it out. He does have amazing talent. At number 17, we have Kissin' Titties Trubisky going up against the Minnesota Vikings. Mr. Mitch cannot throw the ball to the left. The Redskins made him look like a Hall of Fame quarterback, but he is not playing the Redskins this week. He's playing up against the Minnesota Vikings, an in-division matchup that should be pretty tough for Mr. Mitchell Trubisky. I don't see him having a phenomenal game this week. I think they're going to try to run the ball more because Coach Nagy may have actually figured out that David Montgomery is good. Who would have fucking known? Mitch Trubisky could have an okay game, but I definitely don't love him this week, especially in a one-quarterback league. At number 18, we have Kyle Allen of the Carolina Panthers going up against the Houston Texans. Kyle Allen had an amazing debut on the team, or not a debut, but an amazing start last week against whoever they were playing. I completely forgot it. I, th I think it was, let me just, let me just Google it real quick, but I, he had a great game last week, he threw a bunch of touchdowns, looked, looked really good, honestly, I didn't think that Kyle Allen would look that good, uh, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, he played like someone who actually knows how to play, they were playing against the Cardinals last week, he went, got four touchdowns, 261 yards, looked amazing, like I said, the Houston defense, obviously better than the Cardinals defense, but at the end of the day, I think Kyle Allen could be able to get it done. At number 19, we have sexy man Gardner Minshew going up against the Denver Broncos. Gardner Minshew, the mustache man, is going to have a game this week against the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos defense has yet to sack anyone. Von Miller, no sacks. All the other motherfuckers, Bradley Chubb, no sacks. Gardner Minshew has one hell of a sack, and he is going to go in against the Denver Broncos. He is ranked lower because a lot of these other guys, I just see higher potential maybe. Potentially, a guy like Jacoby Brissett may be able to throw three touchdowns. Famous Jameis could as well. At number 20, we have Case Keenum going against the New York Giants. Now, he would be way higher than this. Probably number 14 on this rankings if I thought that he would play the whole game. Now, if Case Keenum makes one mistake, or one mistake meaning one pick, two picks, Case Keenum's out, Dwayne Haskins is in. And if Dwayne Haskins comes in, obviously Case Keenum's not going to be scoring you any fucking points, so it's going to be very hard to start Case Keenum this week, even in such a juicy matchup, because I know that if he gets pulled, Dwayne Haskins may be able to ri uh, rally against the Giants. So thank you guys all for watching this video. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Overlay DFS. Let's have a great goddamn Sunday. Knock one time if you're with me. I love you all. Have a great rest of your day. Let's have a great Sunday. I'm streaming on Sunday again before the the games kick off probably around 11 EST. Knock one time if you're with me. Have a great goddamn day, man. Goodbye.